Where did you go, Polly? She's downstairs in the wall. She didn't go anywhere. She's still there. One, she didn't go anywhere. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Today I'm watching this movie I found on Netflix. It's called I Am the Pretty Thing That Lives in Your House. Hi, it's me. I'm living in your house. I'm kind of tired of watching stuff on Disney because you can't watch it in fast speed. You have to watch it in regular speed, which is too slow. Oh, we gotta go speedy boys. I have heard myself say that a house with death in it can never again be bought or sold by the living. I did not know it at the time, but the house that stands at the end of Teacup Road in the town of Green Tree, Massachusetts was such a house of a rotted ghost. There's way too much, like, voice over here, like, I can't see anything. It's just dark. I am just basically looking at myself in the reflection of my screen. Finally. At the time of my arrival. Oh, more voiceover. Okay. August, the house was occupied by Iris Blum, the author of 13 novels, the kinds of thick and frightening books that people buy at airports and supermarkets. Of her books, I have read fewer than nine pages of only a single one. The pretty thing you are looking at. It's me. My name is Lily Saylor. I am a hospice nurse. Three days ago, I turned 28 years old. I will never be 29 years old. Cool. What is she there to do? Like, be her, like, in-house person? Like, change her diapers? I am a hospice nurse. Snooping. Why does it matter if she's snooping? The old lady's not gonna know. But the ghost might. I am very seldom required to wear white by my employers. But anyway, I always do too much voiceover like just show me some sort of show me anything like I'm, I'm getting nothing from the visual storytelling perspective how far are we into this movie oh my gosh nothing's happening first thing the place always scares me out you know kitchen the phone's in the kitchen what do you want <laughs> it's got one of those ridiculously long cords that your mom used to have <laughs> remember that she's never like a cell phone what does a person say oh Remember that time we almost but then didn't get married? It's a boring way to give the viewer information. This is just a giant info dump. Like, oh, she's creeped out in this creepy old house. She almost got married. Turn on some lights. Why is it why is she sitting in the dark? Hello. There's no like ceiling lights in here. It's a kitchen. There has to be more than just that lamp. The bear ghost? Finally, a light gets turned on. <gasps> Ew. Old people. Oh. <laughs> you me. She was summoned by the TV. Well, or maybe it's like Monster House, where the old lady's trying to warn her about the, the ghosts in the house. Turn on some lights, guys. Everyone's awake. Just, just turn on a lamp. Something. I cannot see what's happening. Eleven months. Passing like the night. She spends a year with an old lady. She starts dressing like one. Uh, do you know anything about anyone named Polly? <sighs> Miss Blum insists on calling me Polly. Maybe there's a you character in her book else. named Polly. <laughs> of course, it's a natural thing for someone with her condition. It's just that a confusion like that is usually with the memory of someone significant. Not just a no one. Maybe this is our girlfriend. Oh, there is Polly from Ms. Blum's novel, The Lady in the Walls. Oh, good. They're going to show Pretty it? Thing you are looking at now is me. My name is Polly Parsons, and I came into the world just as I left. I'm not more than a few minutes old, and my mother is already dead. I am tied to my mother's body by a terrible rope that is a shiny, twisted, midnight blue black. The doctor is holding me up to the light. But now I am dead. She's decaying. She's gonna turn into that glob thing from Resident Evil Village. You should know that the true account that follows in this book was told to me directly by Polly Parsons, the young woman who lived it, but alas, did not survive it. Didn't it just she say she died right when she was born? My did Polly not die the day she was born? Didn't they say that earlier? Polly Parsons, the subject of this book, is quite dead indeed. Quite dead. Not quite buried. She's in the basement. 
So I mean the house like stinks because like there's a dead body in it. Silly Billy. You silly goose. Can't see anything. Is there an audio description? It's called audio description. Or misty figure. Then we can know what we're supposed to be seeing. The corner of the rug is curled over. Lily reaches trip. the bottom of the stairs and kicks it over. Lily looks to the ceiling, then out from the kitchen. The mold bigger. spreads from a crease in the wall. And when do you think you can go Where's that? Where's my brightness from? Open up the wall. Oh, my wife. Oh, my computer's brightness. Any day's okay. Any day's okay enough. I can see so much better now. Flashes. Later, Lily stands in the laundry room. She leans forward and looks behind She's a very room. boring, bland character. Lily stands up straight and scans the room. I feel like I still don't know anything about like she walks out onto the second floor who these characters are. Lily. She never looked around. She's she been here for a year and she, didn't, she never explored. Lily That's like the first thing I do. Lily scans the shelf. She pulls down a white box. Then she reaches Dude, our description is great. Sleep. I don't even need to pay attention. Lily stops. She sets it on her bed. Mold stains the corner of the box. Ooh, moldy. Lily stands over the box. Wash her hands. She rubs her hand on the top. Lily's chest heaves. Why don't you breathe in mold? Swallows. Lily picks up a pair of scissors and brings what the blade the to the taped center of the box. Like pneumonia or something? She holds the box with her other hand for support. Lily drags the scissors between the taped flaps. Her mouth opens as she pulls. Close your mouth. You're breathing that mold. She reaches toward the box. Lily gently places her fingers Can on the inside Can you move like a normal human? Like, you're so slow. She opens the box. She opens it. Mold covers smaller There's a body. Inside. No? Okay. Lily's mouth hangs open. Maybe she that's what's making the, the mold. The dead bodies. A light blue box covered in mold sits on top. Get some gloves and a mask. She, she might have been lid. able to stop this mold growth if she had done some exploring when she first got to this old lady's house. Now she's gonna be like, oh, this is how the old lady knew Polly's story. It's all written the in these little the letters. I now believe Polly entirely when she insists that she does not remember what happened to her in the end. How does one forget something as essential as that? She looks down into her mouth. She's and dead. Deeply. She doesn't have like a working memory. How like perfect sense. The man moves in the same direction. Maybe she never died. Maybe. Look at those sideburns. Blindfolded, runs her hand along a piece of wood that rests against the wall outside. Of the oh, room. now she, she gets shoved in the wall. She holds her hand in front of her face. That's where the mold is. It is a terrible. She's gonna get shoved down there, and then it's gonna be boarded up, and then the mold's gonna grow. Makes perfect sense. Stares into an empty crawl space. She turns to the man with mutton chops. Her eyes wide. Surely this is how we make power. Now sideburns is gonna go ah. expression settles we make. face forward. The man with mutton chops. Oh dude, you didn't even wash your hands first? The walls and his hands. Now you don't have to clean that. He holds nails in his mouth as he hammers away. No one ever noticed that like it smells really bad right there in the she hall. She turns back to the box. It smells like rotting flesh. She closes the box Decaying of letters. Decaying humans. No, Lily no. Her brow no. And glow chair. Time for a sponge bath. Where did you go, Poppy? Go anywhere, Miss Blum. She's downstairs in the wall. I'm here with you. She's still there. Same as I've always. She didn't go anywhere. The front door becomes a black rectangle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite kind of rectangle. Polly appears. She raises her hand inside of the door frame. The bathroom light goes out. Me. You can see only the drawer that. You need like a nightlight. For your desk drawer. And it's way too dark in this house. Closes. She looks over her shoulder, eyes fixed on Miss Blum's room. She's singing. That's creepy. Well, people that sing are creepy. Where's she? Where's the old lady? She presses a button. The ghost were listening to that and she just turns it off. Lily looks up and so rude. Off. The downstairs light switches on. Hello? Why is she going down? Lily pulls the top of her cardigan together. She hesitates at the top of the stairs. Please don't go down. The foyer is illuminated by the overhead light. That light should be on all the time. Stairs. At the bottom of the steps, Lily pauses, her head tilted slightly. Then she slowly turns toward the kitchen. From the foyer, Lily sees the mold-covered so wall, creak now sound opened up with boards stacked on the wall beside it. Clutching her sweater, Wait, she walks what? toward it. The wall's open? Dude, that means Polly's free! She steps closer to it, leans in, and sees shimmering, scaly black matter inside the crawl space. Wow. She stops. Polly's body. Her jaw drops. 
She puts her hand to her mouth. Lily startles, then freezes. Uh. She takes like, her hand I, I'm be like, I, crawl space um, to the kitchen threshold. I'm just gonna, Lily I'm just gonna walk inside. out that front door right there and, and never come back. The okay, door bye. The no, this is, this is where she dies. She's gonna get shoved into that wall. Polly is gonna shove, what's her face, into the wall. And then, yeah. I don't really know why Polly's gonna do that. Maybe like revenge. Back Maybe kitchen. like they need to trade places. I don't know. <laughs> A reflection of Polly on Lily's pupils. Wow. Lily backs into a corner and thrashes her hand at the wall. This is where she dies. Her body goes yeah. Up. Polly watches her, then turns away. No. Is she not Black dead? Face. What just happened? It felt like fall would never come, and then it never did. Hmm. Because now she's in the wall. A larger area on the wall. Oh no, she's dead at the door. Okay. Is that the old lady? She Wait, who's downstairs. Lily? Wait a minute. Isn't Lily. Wait. She Didn't she die? Who died? The staircase. She tells her head slightly. What? <laughs> her eyes flick to the door. The man peers through the no, door no, 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 no. window next to the door. Okay. Polly murdered Lily and then took her place. Is there not a dead body then? Lily looks up and toward the stairs. She turns and heads to the bottom of the stairs. Why is she walking so robotic? Like, it's like she hasn't Next, had a body for over a couple, like, like, hundred years. It's because it's actually Polly. And the old lady knew it from the beginning. Lily the old lady knew Polly away. was gonna murder Lily and then become Inside Lily. The room, and now it's. Oh, well, shoot, is she dead? <laughs> Wait, how'd she call her then? Lily, the bell is tipped on its side next to the mold-spotted sole of Miss Blum's foot. Ew, has she been dead this whole time? Pauses and backs out of the door. He turns from the house, descends the porch steps. Because Lily's dead? The right side of the house. Later, paramedics yeah. two gurneys into the back of a parked ambulance. They're both dead. Is that the end? I didn't get it. Yeah, that kind of, kind of sucked. Um, that's it for this video. Bye!